Hey, in this video, you will learn how to make AI animation videos with CapCut. I will show you how to auto-generate a prompt, then create image with that prompt, then how to animate that everything in this one video. So after watching this video, you can make animation like this. So let's begin. So open any browser, then search for Kriya AI. Then click to the first link, or I will provide all links on the description. Then click on Enhance. Then here upload an image that you want. You want a similar image or style. So I'm taking this image from M and Gaji video. So now I will upload that to the website. Now click on the Enhance option. Then you will see that the prompt is automatically generated. So sometimes it makes mistake but maximum time it makes perfect prompt. Like here, the AI type that giving the illusion that you have wings. So if you find something, then just cut that part. So I'm taking the full text to check that what AI will do to the image. Then copy the text, then search for Adobe Firefly. Then click on AI Image Generator. Then click Generate Image Now. So generate an image, you will need credits to make it. So they give 25 credits every month for free. So to generate one time, you will need one credit. So now a cheating way is if you have multiple Gmail account, then just switch account when you end up credits on an account. So if you have five mail account, you can generate 125 image every month for free. Okay, let's go. So if you finding this video helpful, then please subscribe my channel and feel free to comment any tutorial idea you want to learn. I will try my best to help you. Okay, so now let's back to tutorial. Then paste the text on the prompt. Now hit generate. Now select aspect ratio. For me, it's 16 by nine. Now upload a reference. So on reference, you have upload anything that you want for like a man sitting on desk or something like that. So text and reference should be the same. Now for the style, so on style, you have to upload that style you want. Like Imangaji style, then just upload that style image. And that's it now. If you wanna customize like the man jumps on the air or the man rising up his hand, then just type that on the prompt. So now let's generate the image. And you see that we got exactly the, the same image, like a Mangaji screenshot. So now let's download it and start animating. Okay, now let's open Photoshop. So now I will fix the aspect ratio and fix some other stuffs. So as you can see that this image is not 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So now I will fix that. Also, I have to remove the watermark. So now take the spot healing burst tool. Then a window will pop up that say that you have to convert it into a smart object. Then click OK. Then select the remove tool, then draw those area you want to fix. Okay, done. Now select the object selection tool, then click on the character. Then zoom that and select the quick selection tool. Now fix those area that AI can't detect.
Okay, so now press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer. So now remove the corrector from the background layer. Now export them in separate layers. Before I go to the animation part, I want to say quick thank you to Artlist for making this video possible. So what is Artlist? So Artlist is an all-in-one platform that provide the most high-quality sound effects, music, footage, and templates. So I'm using Artlist like a month, and I have to say that it increased my workflow a lot. And my most used feature is the voice over feature that you are listening right now. I use Artlist all the time. Also, if you take the Mac subscription just like me, then you can use this features on your client's projects that is super helpful for me to enhance my client's projects. Also, if you sign in with my link and get any of the annual plan, you will get extra two month for free. So check out Artlist now and enhance your videos. Okay, so now let's back to the tutorial. So open CapCut, then import those image. Then, as you can see on the preview, I made a zoom animation on the beginning. So it's kind of 3D camera effect. So if you want to learn more about it, then you can watch my 3D camera effect tutorial. So what you have to do is add keyframe on both of your layers, then add scale and position as you're liking. Then the background layer will have the same type of thing, but with less value. So if the background is too far, then you will add 10% scale and position of the front layer. Like if the front layer have plus 50% scale and position, then the back layer will have plus 5% scale and position. So now I will add the line animation. Okay, so now I will add some camera flash overlays. So I found them on YouTube, so just search what you need and you will get maximum assets on YouTube. Okay, so now I will add some rain overlays.
Okay, so after adding some text animations and glows, here is the final result. Thanks for watching. So if you want more video like this, then drop a like and comment that what tutorial you want to see next. And now, if you want to learn how to make camera effect, then watch this video. Or if you want to learn how to animate, then watch this video.